Celebrating the new year at midnight, of course, with a glass of champagne is a fine idea, but I have an even better one, a New Year's Eve sparkler. It's just a cranberry vodka mixture that's really wonderful with champagne, and it's a bit more of a festive drink for the new year. So start with two cups of fresh or frozen thawed cranberries, one cup of granulated sugar. We're basically making the idea of a simple syrup, but infused with the booze and the cranberry flavor and vodka. Use a good brand of vodka here. I love Kettle One. Grey Goose is also excellent. Or Tito's Vodka from Austin, Texas. And a cup of vodka. And this all just gets blended together until you have a nice smooth puree. Let the motor run for a minute. You really want those cranberries to break down. Okay. And this goes right through a fine mesh sieve and strained. A little rubber spatula like this will help you make the job a bit easier. Look at that color, it's so pretty. You really want to get all of that juice out, so don't be afraid to get in there with a the spatula and really press on it. And then this mixture needs to chill in the refrigerator for at least an hour, and you can keep it in there for up to a week, so you can make it around Christmas time. You'll have it all ready for your New Year's Eve celebrations. And really, this drink is so delicious that you're gonna to wanna to make it all year long. I'm using fresh cranberries, of course, since it is the season for fresh cranberries, but you can buy them frozen year round and just thaw them completely in the refrigerator and drain them before you use them here in the drink. Cranberries contain quite a bit of natural gelatin, so that gelatin will help thicken up this mixture, and it will give us that beautiful ombre effect when we top the drink with bubbly. And this just gets covered and popped into the fridge. Our mixture is chilled and ready to sparkle. Start by pouring the cranberry vodka mixture into the bottom of a glass. About a quarter full should be plenty. This mixture will make enough for 10 to 12 cocktails depending on the size of your glass. And for the sparkle, I'm using Prosecco. You can use champagne, sparkling wine, whatever you like that sparkles. A drier <laughs> sparkle is better. And then you have to very slowly pour the champagne down the side of the glass. That's what gives us that ombre effect. And the sugars from your cranberry mixture will actually feed your bubbly, and that's what keeps it sparkling. And then when you pass these around to your friends and family at the new year, they'll just continue to sparkle like that. Isn't that beautiful? And very, very gently pour the champagne, or the Prosecco in this case, down the side of the glass. How gorgeous is that? And this is a fun, festive, and colorful way to ring in a Happy New Year.